What's up guys? Justin here with the CGessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out an add-on that helps you quickly create seamless textures using only nodes inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so most texture websites anymore um, that are specifically designed for textures have seamless textures for download. But sometimes you want to use an image, and that image isn't made seamless. And so what that means is that means if we look at this brick material texture, which I've downloaded, which by the way, this is a texture I downloaded from Pixabay. Um, it's the brick wall texture bricks pattern by Wakanda Pix. So if you want to download this and follow along, you can do that. But if you look at this, notice how when we look at the way the image is being tiled across this face, there's actually seams between the different brick materials, right? Like for example, right here, where this is repeating the brick material, you've got this kind of nasty seam in here. And oddly enough, if you zoom out, the tiling isn't too bad, but it's not great. And so what you could do is you could take this image and download it and make it seamless in something like Photoshop, but we want a better solution than that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to check out a node that you can download from the Blender Marketplace that will allow you to do this directly inside of Blender. So you can download it from the Blender Market. I will link to this in the notes down below. It's the anti-seam add-on by the Timster. And so you can download it for a dollar and you can install it into Blender. And what you do is you basically install it like you would any kind of add-on, and you would just click on the install button, and then you wanna make sure that you've enabled Node Anti-Seam. So now we're gonna jump over into our shader editor, and notice that the menu for the Anti-Seam node is gonna be over here in the Nodes section. So if I mouse over this and tap the N key, this is gonna show up. It's not gonna show up in your menu up above, it's gonna be in your Nodes menu. And basically the way that it works is it's super simple. What you do is you just click on your image right here, then you just click on the button for Anti-Seam. What that's gonna do is that's going to replace your image texture node with this node right here. And so basically what it does is it creates this whole node setup in here that you can use in order to adjust the way that your image seems. But if we look at this, let's take a look at what it does. So basically it gives you four options. It gives you options to shift your materials along the X or Y direction like this. And so notice what that does is that allows you to kind of play around with this and set it up so that your materials are going to line up. And basically what it's doing is it's kind of merging these materials together just like this. So instead of you getting that ugly seam that was in here before, it's going to kind of blend the edges. And you can kind of play around with the way that the border blends in here. You have to be a little bit careful with the way that you do this. Um, but notice how, for example, right here, if I turn that border blend up, it's gonna blend this together with some other materials right here. And basically all we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of those ugly seams. So you can kind of play around with these in here. Notice how the border hardness, for example, is going to adjust the way that this looks. But it's really just kind of a simple trial and error type thing. So you can just shift these until they align. So something like this. Then you can adjust that border blend in order to adjust the way that those tiles come together. It's a great way to get rid of those ugly seams really quickly without having to go into Photoshop or anything like that. All right, so I'll link to some other Node tutorials on this page as well. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this add-on. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.